Hi everyone. Thanks for joining us. Today we are doing more of a mini webinar looking at marketing research and consumer insights trends. But before we dive into things, we wanted to quickly introduce ourselves. Many of you we may know, but if you are new, nice to meet you. Both Kit and I began our careers in the marketing research industry as hands-on researchers before moving into recruiting. I started working on site at Quaker as a project manager for IRI before moving to Knowledge Networks, which is now a part of GFK, where I focused on custom research initiatives across a variety of industries. And then prior to Birchworks, I led business development and digital media effectiveness programs for Dime Store Media, which is also now a part of GFK. And hi everyone, this is Kit. I also come from the industry. I had a focus in qualitative research. I began my career at a boutique firm called True, and we focused on the youth industry, so teens all the way up to 20-somethings, and then most recently was part of the Futures Company, which is now Kantar Consulting. So we both have that background in the industry, and now as recruiters, Kit and I spend much of our days speaking with research professionals about their jobs, the work they've been doing, and what their goals are for the future. We really enjoy hearing about what people are up to and what types of tools and methodologies they are most excited about using in their day to day. We were curious to see if there were any emerging themes out there, and we thought, what better audience to ask than the research and insights professionals themselves? So we set out to do just that. In this mini webinar, we are going to discuss the results of our survey, what the data says and what we can take from it, and our thoughts and tips for how research professionals can adapt and keep up with the latest and greatest when it comes to technology and tools in the field. So here's a quick look at the survey we sent out. It may look familiar. It was a simple multiple choice question with a provided list of responses. And we included an open-ended response option so anyone could write in something if it wasn't included on the list. Curious to see the results? We collected hundreds of responses, and here's a quick snapshot of what we found. You'll see here that the voice of the customer or customer experience received the most responses. Data visualization came in second there on the right, and the rest of the choices were pretty well distributed. So taking a look at the popularity of VOC, the last couple of years Kit and I have seen a spike in the number of positions that are looking for previous voice of the customer experience. This practice is particularly common in a number of verticals, but especially among industries with multiple consumer touch points, like hotels, retailers, or anyone in the QSR or hospitality industry. While we found the definition of VOC may vary slightly upon industry and other factors, the main idea is staying informed of your customers' needs, wants, behaviors, pain points, and then using those insights from the VOC program to guide business strategy and optimize the experience offered for current and future customers. Regardless of the industry, no doubt VOC will continue to remain crucial for many businesses as they strive to ensure they are delivering against customers' expectations. The graph we just showed you was a summary across all responses, regardless of what side of the business. So we also thought it would be interesting to divide the sample so we could take a look to see if there were any differences between client-side researchers and those currently working on the supplier side. While the results were fairly similar, we did notice that data visualization in mobile research skewed slightly higher among supplier-side researchers when compared to those on the client side. Data visualization has really come a long way, and supplier-side researchers are particularly excited about the increasing capability. Using tools like Tableau and Power BI or other interactive and engaging ways to display research can be a great way for researchers to showcase their findings and recommendations to their clients. These new tools can help present complex information in a digestible way while bringing the data and story to life. And cutting edge researchers, research suppliers have even been able to leverage some of these tools to differentiate themselves from their competition. And mobile research is a critical tool for many researchers today, but we saw this one especially pop on the supplier side. It's really changed the way research can be done. Back in the day, respondents had to physically sit down at their computers to fill out a survey or post in an online bulletin board. And now they can complete a questionnaire on their train ride home or while they're almost anywhere on the go. The increased use of smartphones across mainstream audiences has not only made it way more convenient for people to participate in research on their own time, it's also raised the bar for what's possible. There are so many new touch points in which researchers today can connect directly with their consumers because of this mobile research. 
For instance, interacting with a respondent in the grocery store aisle as they're deciding if they should choose goldfish or Annie's cheddar bunnies, this mobile capability can really help offer a glimpse to their decision process in real time. As we mentioned earlier, when we fielded the survey, we gave the option to hear from you all too to see if there were any other things the Marketing Research and Insights crowd might be excited about. When we dug deeper into those open-ended other responses, we noticed enthusiasm around artificial intelligence and machine learning. While most companies and organizations are still just getting started in tackling these areas and figuring out how these practices might get off the ground, many researchers are looking ahead and curious about the effect they may have on marketing research and insights. Both supplier side and client side researchers seem to be looking forward to the potential and how they might be able to incorporate these findings and observations from AI and machine learning to supplement their work and provide an even more comprehensive viewpoint or perspective for businesses and brands in the future. So there's a look at some of the trends we noticed after surveying market research and insights professionals. As the industry evolves and new tools emerge, it's important to take a step back and ensure you're staying on top of the changes. How do you go about doing that? Well, Carl and I brainstormed a bit. First, it's great to be an expert in a variety of traditional research methodologies, but it's always a good idea to keep a pulse on emerging trends in the industry. And we have a few ideas for staying in the loop. First, subscribe to industry content, whether it's blogs or newsletters like Quirks or Green Book, or you can follow cutting edge research suppliers or thought leaders in the industry on LinkedIn or social media. It's also a great idea to network with other peers in the industry. Many cities have marketing research net networking groups. Um, Carla and I actually went to a WIRE event. That stands for Women in Research, but they're actually open to all genders and welcome everyone. But we went to an event here in Chicago earlier this summer, and it was a really great way to meet new people in the industry. Or you can even attend one of the great research conferences available to marketing research and insights professionals like IIEX or TMRE. There's quite a few of them out there. Be the one who raises your hand and volunteers to RFP new companies. It's interesting to see what new things research suppliers and vendors are offering to tackle different business objectives. And you may find a great way to interact with customers that you maybe didn't know about before just by checking in and seeing what other companies are doing with their RFPs. And for those go-getters out there, be the change agent. If you have a great idea, bring it to the table. There are many niche suppliers, more than ever actually, and many of them have unique and interesting offerings from advanced eye tracking to biometrics to innovative shopper techniques, the list goes on and on. If your company has been doing something the same way for years and years on end, be the one who brings up a new idea or an innovative way of approaching a business problem. And we've worked on roles here, Carla and I, that clients specifically ask for candidates who can be scrappy, who can think outside of the box, so really don't hesitate to think about how you can make a new idea into a reality. Yeah, absolutely. And in, in our world, we always like to say that scrappy is, is definitely a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so to take it a step further, beyond just keeping an eye on trends and observing what's going on in the industry, really try to get hands on yourself. Regardless of your seniority, always strive for continuous learning. Be a sponge. This is more important today than ever. While not every company or position may be set up for this, do what you can to stay on top of new and emerging trends and techniques and try to be hands-on if possible. You don't need to be an expert in every new thing that hits the market, but at the very least, try to have an understanding of the newest methodologies and supplier offerings, especially if you notice something in your particularly, particular industry gaining popularity. As you gain more experience and evolve in your career, it's important not to forget to keep your resume updated. While we always recommend keeping your resume fairly up to date even if you're not actively looking for a new job, it, it is a hard thing to do. You know, it's not like you really want to go home after a long day's work and, <laughs> and work on your resume, but it's important because that way when the time comes when you are actively looking for a job, it really doesn't feel like a huge undertaking and then you, really, you, know, you don't forget anything important. As you learn new skills, take a few minutes to incorporate them into your resume, something you'll want to showcase and have ready to go when the time comes. Um, and these skills not only showcase the depth and breadth of your background, but they also demonstrate that your skill set is current and that you are able to pick up new things easily. Thanks, Carla. And thanks to all of you for joining us for our mini-webinar. That's all we have for you today. 
For those of you who aren't familiar with us, Birchworks is an executive recruiting firm specializing in the placement of quantitative business professionals, typically within the fields of marketing research, analytics, and data science. We're the leading resource for this type of talent and insights about the hiring market, and produce three comprehensive salary reports every year for our main specialty areas. These reports contain over 30 pages of data and can be downloaded for free at birchworks.com study. And of course, if you lead a team and are looking to add to your research and insights staff, Carla and I would be happy to speak with you and do some brainstorming. We offer contingency and retained services and cover searches from entry-level research analysts all the way up to chief research officers. We'd love to learn about your team and future plans for growth, so feel free to send us an email if you'd like to chat. If you're looking to post your research or insights opportunity or browse for new opportunities for yourself, you can check out our niche job board, which is trafficked by thousands of professionals in marketing research, consumer insights, category management, and much more. Aside from searches we're engaged on, our job board is open to all of our clients. So if you're just looking for a targeted place to post your job listings, definitely get in touch with us. We offer, offer several options depending on how many roles you'd like to post. If you're interested in more insights about the analytics and data science hiring market like the ones presented today, check out birchworks.com slash blog where we post periodic updates with, market, uh, with hiring market insights and analysis as well as flash survey results and interviews with our network. You can also follow Birchworks across our social media channels. That way you can stay updated on all of our latest research. Speaking of, if you'd like to see what roles we may have that are a fit for your experience or to discuss hiring needs, please send us an email at info at to start the process. Thank you all for joining and have a great day.